Yeah. Gossip about one another's heating up. Yeah. All those things are just as bad. We come out of the world, I don't drink no more. I'm doing pretty good. I got some fun. But the other stuff's heating up on the inside. Is it not heating up? Think about it. I want to be there. I want to be. I want to get the dreams. If you want those things of the Lord, all you've got to do is humble yourself, hit your knees, and say, Lord Jesus, Lord, show me what you have me do. Lord, I, I covet the, I eagerly covet the spiritual gifts. Like it says in, in the Corinthians chapter 14, we can't covet those, the things that be of the Lord, not the things that be of the world. Amen. Yeah. I'm trying to move on. I'm going to let her go. Genesis 39, 19. <coughs> so now, he gets accused of this crime, something he didn't do because she hollers out and she tells everybody he raped her. Even though he fled, now he's falsely accused. Have you ever been falsely accused? Mm -hmm. And when you're falsely accused, do you get angry? Yes. Yeah. Do you say, well, God is with me in this anger. i got the right to be angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they may be wrong, but still, you don't have the right to do. What you need to do is humble yourself and say, you know what, Jesus was falsely accused. And he opened all his mouth. Oh, that, that pops me all the time. Trust me, I'm not just popping y'all. It pops me. <laughs> Believe me, I, I have to go to Isaiah and say, he opened not his mouth. Mm. <sighs> That's why he knew we couldn't have it. If we had the power of Almighty Christ, when they did that to us, when they called him a liar, when they plucked out his beard and said, prophesy now, buddy, I'd have fire would have come out of my eyes and I'd have burned them all up. <laughs> and said, okay, Lord, we'll start over. <laughs> Am I not telling the truth? No, yeah, you're telling oh, yeah. the truth. So it takes the spirit of Almighty God to come into your life and do these things. That's why we don't get the credit. No religious person gets the credit. Well, I've done that. I've done this pretty good. You haven't done nothing. We're supposed to be dead. Paul says, I died daily that the Spirit may live through me, that Christ may live through me. If you're dead, that means you don't get the credit. That removes the self-righteousness out of the church. There's too much self-righteousness in the church. And guess what? Because they believe they've done something in their own selves and we haven't. Trust me, there's no nothing good in us at all. Amen. We're going to say, Lord God, help me to deny myself, take up the cross, and follow you, Jesus. Amen. Believe in what you did and pay for it, that cross. So I'll have the power by the Holy Spirit to walk as you walk. So here we are. He blamed, falsely accused, and now he's in prison. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spoke unto him, saying, after this manner, did your, did your servant to me. This his anger was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him in the prison. Mm. A place where the king's prisoners were bound. And he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with mm -hmm. Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Do you see that? He didn't try to defend himself, did he? I didn't do this thing, man. I'm going to give you a lawyer, man. I'm suing you. Oh, no. I'm, gonna, uh -uh. I'm getting the highest paid lawyer. I'm going to sue you. No, he didn't try to defend himself. Neither did Jesus. But Almighty God was with him through it all. Amen. 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 That's a hard lesson for us to learn because we always want to defend ourselves. But we'll, we'll not defend ourselves and let our Heavenly Father defend us. Guess what? He's with us. He is with you through it all. He never left Joseph, never forsook him. It looked like Joseph was cursed. Sometimes it looks like you're cursed. You may be going through things. You may have bills. You may be in bankruptcy. You may have stuff hit you. You may have disease. You may have all kinds of things in your life. But God is with you through every bit of the prison, every bit of the bondage, every bit of the disease. He's still with you, especially if your faith is in Him. If your faith is in something else, then you're the one walking with Him. But He's with you. Even in the prison, He's with Joseph. That's what I want you to get. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. He became the manager of the prison. How did everywhere he went that the devil tried to curse him, God was blessing him and lifting him up. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. He never tried to self-exalt himself. He never tried to lift himself up. God lifted him up everywhere. Yeah. That's what we must learn. 
There are many people that will not preach to a crowd this small. There are many people that say, well, unless I have 150 to 2,000 or 152,000 people or whatever, I'm not going to get up and preach to a waste of time. Let me tell you something. If it's one that repents and comes home to heaven, the angel rejoices in heaven. And Lord puts one person in the pew to minister to. We should humble ourselves and do that. Well, I don't know. I need more people than that. That's self exaltation. You're exalting yourself and not allowing God to lift you up in a certain place. Amen. I'm serious. This, is, this, this right here is what we must learn. Joseph never exalted himself, but God was with him to do the whole thing. Praise God. And then here comes a butler for sake of time. Here comes a butler and a baker. Both of them get thrown in prison. Pharaoh's angry with them, and they had dreams. And the fruits of the Spirit start functioning through Joseph's life, and he interprets them. And as he interpreted the dreams, they came to pass. And the baker was killed. His dream wasn't so good. <laughs> but the butler's was good. He was released and put right back in position. And, and all Joseph asked was, Will you remember me? When, when you get out, will, will you remember me, man, and, and tell Pharaoh that I'm innocent? He never blamed Potiphar. He didn't blame Potiphar's wife. He didn't blame his brothers for selling him in bodies. He didn't even mention no names. Did you notice that? In the Bible it says he, he didn't say nothing. He just says, I'm not guilty of this. Will you remember me? You know what that poor fellow did. <laughs> they forgot Joseph. Two more years. You think Joseph got mad? I, I interpreted a dream. Because he didn't interpret the dream. Who interpreted the dream? Who does the supernatural? It's not us spitting on people, throwing them down. So, oh, yes. It is the Lord's Spirit that heals. Amen. It's the Lord's Spirit that interprets dreams. It's the Lord's Spirit that functions by the fruit thereof. It's not us. That's what I keep telling you. It's not about us. It's about Him. But still, He walked. He walked in forgiveness. You see those traits that keep going? I'm going to stop there because i got many more traits. We'll go over those next week. But I want us to ponder all the information we just heard. I want you to think about that. We're going to do the Lord's Supper in a minute. We're going to protect the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Do you have something in your heart that is not right? The thing about Jesus is you can always be honest with Him. You don't have to run from the Lord. You run to the Lord. And when you run to Him, it, it's not for condemnation. He wants to wrap His arms around you and cleanse you. So you can partake of the Lord's Supper, partake of His body and His blood. Praise God. <coughs> so, before we can partake of this, do you have anything in your heart that you need to give the Lord? Because as the altar call comes forth, we need to think about everything we just heard. Do we have a servant's heart? Or are we serving sin? Because Jesus said, if you're sinning, you're a servant to sin. You're in bondage to it. Or do you desire to let that thing go? Are you saved? We do need to evaluate that. You can be forgiven today. You can be cleansed today. The Lord seeks to love you wrap his arms around you just like the prodigal son and give you a big old kiss. It don't matter what you've been up to. And if you, if you love the Lord and you, and you don't think you've done it, just ask him, Lord, is there anything in me that is not pleasing to your sight? That's what he wants us to do. So he can pour his spirit upon you and fill you <coughs> with mighty goodness. So others may see you walk with that servant's heart just like in Joseph's day. And God will be with you everywhere. It doesn't matter what hits this land. It doesn't matter if famine comes, if gas goes up to $10 a gallon, which it might. It doesn't matter. The Lord was with Joseph. Everywhere. Even in bondage. Even in prison. Everything he put his hands to prosper. Same with you. He'll be with you. It doesn't matter. He'll supply every need you have. But we do need to make things right with him. Amen. Amen.